right? Where is he? Who? Who? Who don't I see? Andy's not here yet. You sure? I saw a candy wrapper on the trail. What's the trouble? Trouble is, I'm gonna pound that Weezer. Why? Because he ratted me out, that's why. What did you do now? That's just it, nothing. A couple days ago, I stayed home from school sick. I had a note from my mom, totally legit, but I lost it. Now you know no one's gonna believe that I really lost it, so I had to forge a new one. You forged a note from your mother? It's no big deal. I had a real one, I just lost it. So what happened? So I gave it to the principal like a good little boy. But Andy was there. He looks at the note and says, hey, your mother's handwriting looks a lot like yours. Uh-oh. I could have smacked him. The principal compares my handwriting and bam, two weeks detention. He didn't mean to write you out. It doesn't matter. Aren't you gonna wait for him? Why? He's not gonna show. He knows I'll deck him. You should hear this, too. It's about friends and trust. Friends are the most important thing you're ever gonna have. You never rat on your friend. Cause sooner or later, it'll come back to you. And when it does, when you need that friend the most, you'll find yourself all alone with no one you can turn to. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Wisdom Glass. Uh, if there's a game you can't find, I'd, I'd be happy to order it for you. I'm sure you would. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> hey, kid, enough already. Just looking, dude. Yeah, we'll look someplace else. This isn't a museum. I don't trust that type. Type? That's my brother you're talking about. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Price. I, I had You no have my idea. father's number? Go fetch an authorization for my purchase. Go! Go! Yes, yes right away. Right, right away. <laughs> Such a pathetic individual. Thanks, dude. That was pretty cool. Alan Price. Jimmy Miller. So what's captured your imagination, Jimmy Miller? Huh? Oh. Uh, something I don't have the bread for. Wisdom game. The ultimate journey of knowledge. Pretty cool, huh? Indeed. Would you like me to buy it for you? You're not serious. Why not? No reason to let a little thing like money. Surprise! Your Highness, guess what? Daddy won't authorize payment. What? He says you've already blown your allowance, and it's time you learn the value of money. <laughs> guess I'm the teacher. Okay, well, there's obviously been a mistake here. Yes, and I made it, wasting my time with you. Oh, and you, dude, are not his brother. I gotta fly later. Well, we should discuss this. Here's your discussion. Get out, now, and don't come back here again. Moving on, Trevor. This place is bigger than my room. You, uh, forgot something. But I thought that geek cut you off. Oh, misunderstanding. Shall we go to your house and try it out? You want to go to my house? Why not? Afraid I might embarrass you in front of the neighbors? Absolutely. Let's go.
my father calls, don't answer it. Let him sweat a while. I feel like the prince slumming with the pauper. And does that make you feel important, sir? Yes. In fact, yes, it does. Don't cross me, Trevor. You like hockey? My dad and I go to a ton of games. I wouldn't know. My father's always too busy. Too bad. Okay, here we go. Are you sure this old thing can run it? I uh, hope. Look, the game brought us online. Hey, what'd you do that for? I had to register our names. Is that a problem? Uh, no. No problem. Oh, cool. Looks like we registered just in time. There's a wisdom game card tournament tomorrow. Top prize, 10,000 bucks! Why are you printing that? I'm not. It's directions to the tournament. I believe it just killed your computer. Who cares? I say we go to the tournament. If we win, we can split the cash. And I can buy any computer I want. So you up for it? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, that's the place, according to this. Let's go check it out. All right, now, Trevor, wait here and don't fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is it. What an odd place for a tournament. the game came alive. Fascinating. You must heed the rules of wisdom, respect, integrity, and honesty. I am the keeper. You are newborns and must dress accordingly. Um, brown really isn't my color. What are your names? I will confirm your registration. Registration? Alan Price and Jimmy Miller. Why does he need our names? Just to make sure that we are who we are. Uh, maybe coming here wasn't such a good idea. Chill, dude. Look, everything's gonna be great. Uh, I think we should leave now. Yeah. Now I see the truth. The newborns. Get them! Game. 
This is no game. You are here to defend yourselves. And if guilty, you will pay for your crime. Crime? What crime? The crime of stealing wisdom. Why do they think we stole the game? I wouldn't know. You gotta make those creeps understand that they're making a big mistake. Me? Why me? Because they'll believe you. You look honest. I look like, well, someone that steals stuff. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's true. Whenever I go into a store, people watch me because I think I'm going to pinch something. It gets pretty old. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter. They can't prove that we stole the game. We'll be out of here in no time. Order into court. You can't put us on trial. I insist on calling my father. We can, and we will. You're in wisdom now. Our way of doing things is our own. Where is the defendant's counsel? Unfortunate case though I may be, your case is fortunate to be with me. What? He's not a lawyer. He's a, a, a clown. A clown, exactly. Come on, give us someone with credentials. Credentials utensils. Let's all use pencils. He's a nut job. But he's your nut job. Bring forth the wisdom glass. The Oracle of Ultimate Truth, the Wisdom Glass. My father's a lawyer. I demand you call him right now. The Wisdom Glass says, request denied. Denied! A ride. You get fried. Oh, we're sunk. We have the right to represent ourselves. You're fired. Fired, fired. <sighs> I'm getting tired. Request denied. Your counsel stays. This is insane. Not another word. Now, let us proceed. Everyone knows that wisdom is something that one acquires. It cannot be bought, bartered, or stolen. Admit that you stole the game. I've told you a thousand times, I didn't steal it. I object. My client said that. Six times, not a thousand. You can't object to me. Overrule. How can you say that even once when we have indisputable proof to the contrary? Proof? What proof? Uh-oh. That's him! Oh, yeah, I never forget a face. He was looking at the game, and then he ran out of the store, and I went back to the shelf, it was gone. Um, where are we? No way! I didn't steal it! A a Alan, say something! He did it! He stole the game! <gasps> Dude! I told him not to, but he wouldn't listen to me. This is most unusual. I must consult a higher power. The wisdom glass says, it's time for lunch. Take them away, they're, they're, they're spoiling my appetite. What's the deal? I thought we were friends. Look. It was me, all right? I stole the stupid game. Why? I mean, you're like rich. Well, you saw the guy in the store? 
He made me look foolish. Nobody makes me look foolish. Yali really got you back good. And now you're making me look bad. You're a real piece of work, you know that? Look, Jimmy, I understand why you're angry, and I'm sorry. But you have to see my dilemma. I'm a 4-0 student, top of my class. My father has big plans for me. And if he finds out about all this, I could lose that. And it doesn't matter if I take the heat, because I'm just a big loser, right? Jimmy, I need you to plead guilty. You want me to take the rap for you? I'll give you anything, anything. Name your price. You know, all your money and your limo and your fancy clothes, they don't mean squat to me. The way you stood up for me in that store, that was pretty cool. So for that, I'll do it. Oh, yes! Thank you, thank you. And what is it you have to tell the court, young man? It was me. I stole the game. <gasps> Work is done! Time for fun! Silence, you fool! The accused has confessed. Do you have anything to say before I pass sentence? Go easy on him? You are free to go. Don't worry, you'll be fine. There are many possible sentences we could hand down to you for committing this terrible crime. We could ask you to pay for the game. We could ask you to write a 10,000 word essay on the evils of stealing. Or you may even be set free with a warning. Okay, so what's it gonna be? It will be determined by the wisdom glass. Jimmy Miller, for having stolen wisdom, you are to be immediately Executed. What? The wisdom gloss has spoken. Carry out the sentence. Court is adjourned. Wait! You can't do this! You can't execute me for stealing a game? But we can. In the world of wisdom, stealing is a capital offense. Bad mistake, bad mistake. Too much at stake for a bad mistake. You can't do this! Let's go. Where's your friend? We had an argument. He's not my friend anymore. Let's go. Well, that's too bad. What should I do with these? What are they? Tickets for the hockey game tonight. Jimmy asked me to hold on to them for you guys. He got us tickets for a hockey game? Well, he said you'd never been, and he wanted to return the favor for giving him that computer game. You can't do this! I didn't even steal the game! It's a shame. He, uh, he really seemed to like you for something other than your money. Oh, well. Wait! Hold these. This is a joke, right? This can't be real. Stop! Jimmy didn't do it. I did. I asked him to lie for me. I'm the one. I took the game. Whoa! What were you going to do to him? Are you confessing now? I didn't mean to steal it. I just ran out of the store and it was in my hand. Release the prisoner. Sorry, man. 
is cool, dude. What you did was very brave, young man. It seems you've learned what wisdom is all about. Now execute him! What? The judgment of the wisdom glass must be carried out. Court is adjourned! Baby, help! Let him go, or I'll smash it! Okay. No! Don't you can't do that! Release the boy. Now. Everybody be cool, and the wisdom thingy is safe. Hey, I'll smash it! You want this so bad? Then go get it! No! The boss! Stop it! Come on! See? I'm no fool! Judgment of the wisdom glass must be carried out. Court is adjourned. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Ah. The end. That was awesome. That I'm was impressed, great. Gwen. He's here. Hi. You are history. Easy. I got two weeks' attention because of you, meatball. Wait, wait. I called your mom and told her what happened. She called the principal and sent him another note. You're off the hook. Yeah, uh... I think the word's thanks. Yeah, well, uh, um... Uh... You told my mom I forged your name? Are you bent? 